from this lady here, yes. Um, everyone's ripping the couple on the left apart. I think they should be commended for trying, like, starting over and, you know, acknowledging what they did wrong and Thank you. trying Jason to get back to Jason and Cherise. Nice. What do you say? I want to sort of um, tag onto that. I, I'm looking at the audience. I'm looking at the um, panelists. And I think that love is something beautiful. And it does mean forgiveness. And a lot of times if people are sorry, they think you should try. So I commend the couples that are trying to get it together. And hopefully you all can establish a long marriage relationship. Thank you. That's a nice thing to say. you out there watching the show and some people in here have been really touched by this show because maybe you're in the midst of going through some some hurtful feelings right now because maybe somebody cheated on you or maybe you're cheating on somebody else. Constance Silver is a psychotherapist and Constance is it possible to men after so much trust has been broken can couples really get back together I mean is there hope for Sharice and Jason and the rest of the couples here? Yes um, talking of course is the answer what we've got here as you've heard are a bunch of babies really no one no one has been willing to bite the bullet and biting the bullet means maturity and they're not there yet uh, admittedly Sharice was 15 years old and she said it we were kids okay the deal is that everybody's got to start talking it's absolutely you said something that's very true they're starting they're trying to work on it talking is the key and it's been very hard men and women are raised differently in our society Men fall down and people say, stand up and act like a big boy and stop your crying. And women fall down and they say, there, sweetheart, come get in mommy's lap. And so men have a very hard time talking. Mm. And it's, it's hard. It's hard to be a man in our society. I think it's probably harder to be a man than it is a woman because so, they've been raised that way. Constance, let me ask <laughs> And the men are great. Let me ask you this, though. Let's say in, in the case like Jessica, Jessica strongly suspects mm -hmm. that her man is cheating. And many of us know that you're not going to admit it until you're busted completely, like Mike over here. How are you supposed to move on within that relationship and even with other relationships? Well, again, some couples therapy would help if that's a possibility. Otherwise, I mean, you really have to talk. It's called communication. You really have to talk quietly. You have to not scream. You have to not fight, although fighting feels good. <laughs> fighting doesn't do it. What do you talk about, though? Let's say you that these couples talk about, go You try to talk about your own hurts. You try to talk about what it is you want from the other person. He won't ever do that. He won't ever talk well, again, he falls into the, the, the category of how hard it is for a man to talk in our society. But that's not acceptable in a relation, not to I me. No. I mean, I think it's important. That's I mean, right. I'm sorry men and women are raised differently, goodness knows, right. I know. That's but right. that's not gonna help me in my relationship. Right. I expect right. a man to talk to me. If they love each other enough, it's possible for them to have some kind of couples counseling. You can have couples counseling now that costs zero. The YMCA's offer it. It would be helpful, it would be helpful mm. for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No? Oh, wait, 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 come here, you have to Oh, yes. What's your name? Is Mike? <laughs> I think as far as that goes, the she doesn't sort of leave him. Because I think that he's always going to cheat. No matter what happens, I think he's always going to cheat on You don't have any leave. faith in Mike, huh? Absolutely not. Uh, I want to know if any of these couples are pregnant right now, the women. Any women expecting to expand the family here? Rolanda. Yeah, I want to say something. Help. You know, everybody always talking about breaking yeah. up. That's what's wrong with this world today, because everybody done broke up. You know, your mom and dad done cheated on each other before. But if they done broke up, you know what I'm saying, where would you be? You know what I'm saying, where would you be? I'm going to raise my son with his father in the house, okay? Right. He ain't going nowhere. He's going to take care of my son, all right? Yeah, and I'm going to be a strong black woman. I'm going to make him a strong black man, all right? I want to know if Lavelle loves Jessica. Lavelle, are you in I'm love with Jessica? How man. deep is this relationship? Well, I moved in with it. <laughs> what about Joe business? Okay. Wait a minute, we're on Lavelle now. The question was asked to Lavelle just how serious is this relationship with Lavelle, Jessica? Is it, it uh, with Jessica Lavelle, is, is it worth going through the, the, the possible therapy, which is offered free in many places? I mean, how hard are you willing to fight for Jessica? I'd do it. I'm trying to get her some help, but you know what I'm saying? She had like. <laughs> Hey, she, Dad, first, I gotta hear this. When she first started coming around to the house, right? She thought I, I you know what I'm saying, had something for her. So, oh, what, you like her? You looking no, at her too No, she hard? said you she was gonna come over her? later that night. He's like, yeah, pound on the door. 
to make nah, sure it nah, gets open no, when she comes up. Yeah, it was. No, what do you say? Yeah, it was. The cup in the middle. You specifically said Both? when you're together, Both. you're loyal to her. What happens when you're not together, and why didn't you use protection when you had the affair with the, the girl four times? Good question, because you know something, Mike? You never did say impossible. I did use protection uh, uh, some of the times, and sometimes some I did time. not. You know what I'm saying? Um, during the time, like I said, I was still in denial because I really, I, I wasn't for sure if I wanted to be with her. You know, I know I had got her pregnant and I was still in denial. And then when when she came back, I was like, that's who I really want to be with. And I didn't want to be with nobody else. So what you're saying is that the mistake that you made helped you realize where you really want to be. Yeah, because don't nobody else uh, know me. You made the wrong mistake and gave me uh, some disease. And now, that you know, could happen. I'm talking about. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's my thing right there. If you're going to cheat on me, you let me know so I can be through with you, okay? Because I don't want you bringing nothing to me. Am I? We'll be right back in a minute.